What's up, everybody? It's a white meme here. Check it out. I got like metal hair. I don't know why the frame rate is so low. That's that's really odd. Um, but look, I got metal hair bands, and look, this is what I look like with a hair band. I'm gonna show you guys. Check it out. This is what I look like uh, when I'm not recording my video, but. It's very, very functional, and it keeps my hair out of my face, but I, I really, honestly, truly think that my hair looks really cool. Um, and even though it's very, um, uh, not very functional, I like how cool it looks. I, I, I like how it looks. I think it looks fun, and I like it. I'm probably going to get it cut soon, but, uh, you know, I like having it out with, during my videos. The reason why I can hear a fan in the background is because my door's open, and uh, we're actively cooling down the house. My fan would be on full blast if I wasn't recording. I do so much. Th I do so many things for you guys. I, I, I take off my hair band. I turn off my fan. I do all these things. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, here's something evil that I did. We need a key to go into the kind of the walls that contain the trash compactors at work. And uh, I did the unimaginable. And I forgot them in my pocket. And I took them home. Uh, and so my parents, luckily, are going to the store tomorrow. And where I work is right next to this door. I'm not sure you're just going to find out where I work when I give out enough information. But my parents uh, shop right next to the place I work at, and uh, they're just going to drop them off in the morning. But I just, I just feel so bad, and it's evil. For breakfast, I had a um, some waffles and oatmeal. For lunch, I had... Oh, we my mom got Wendy's, because my mom and my sister um, went to... Uh, this like pho place, but my uh, but dad and I didn't really want pho, so we got they got Wendy's on the way home. Uh, and for dinner we had um, oh I I guess I had a turkey bacon ranch sandwich at work. Uh, however, it wasn't very good. I, I still like the mess the most is my favorite sandwich. Uh, but I decided you know eating the mess maybe seven days in a row you know isn't that good. Uh, so you know I've tried the Reuben, I've tried the French dip, I've tried the um, the tuna. The tuna was re really good, but I don't know. I don't like cold sandwiches for, for meals. Like, I don't like cold food for, for like, meals. Um, unless it's, like, leftovers. I don't know. It's old. Uh, God, I wish I could talk about more things, but I feel like I am wasting talking about these things on, like, such a low frame rate video. This video is supposedly 60 frames a second. This is not 60 frames. Like, I'm moving... <laughs> that motion blur is insane. Alright. Okay, I'm done doing that. Um, here's something, here's a revelation I've had recently, and because of this, it has led to me losing, like, four pounds in the past two days, which is kind of insane, that's kind of unprecedented, and, uh, I realized that I, um, I used to eat to be full, um, but now I just eat to be not hungry, uh, which I think are both, are wildly different things, um, and it has led to me, basically, I eat way too much, I eat way too much food, I love food, I love food a lot, um, but honestly, I eat way too much of it, and, um, <laughs> Like, this sounds like a crazy thing to say, but I eat, I eat crazy amounts of, I'm like a vacuum, I eat food all the time, for real. Like, there, there have been weeks, there have been some days where, like, I, I just, I'm pretty much eating food, like, all day, right? I eat way too much food. And, uh, of course, I've lost, like, 40 pounds in the past, like, year and a half. But, um, that doesn't mean that my food consumption, uh, is any less unhealthy. Uh, because I eat very unhealthy food and I eat a lot of it. Right, and I, I, I had to, I have to exercise. I have to burn like twelve hundred calories when I'm not working uh, to make up for it. But, um, you know, I realized maybe I should just stop eating such bad food. And uh, one of the big things I realized is I'm just, I used to eat until I was like full, and I felt like I, I had a full like stomach. Um, and now I just eat where I, I have a lack of hunger. And I think that's that's very important. And I think that's a very good realization to have. And uh, of course, I think recreational eating is very good. I, I, I think it's just a good thing to do sometimes. Uh, it's like um. It's a, I guess I would liken it to gambling, um, to where you're actively just, like, things are just, like, objectively getting worse in your life if you gamble, um, uh, but, you know, you are, you are paying for the enjoyment, and, um, if you, if you eat more, if you do, like, recreational eating, and you eat something you enjoy when you're just not hungry, um, I think you are, you are trading for health in, in the enjoyment of flavor. I think recreational eating is very important. Probably going to keep doing it, but, um, I'm not going to be eating all the time. I'm not going to be eating these massive servings for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm gonna stop eating bagels, which is sad to say. Bagels are like my favorite food for real. Um, but I've realized I shouldn't eat like 800 calories every morning of just bread and cheese, because um, because that's just the worst thing you could possibly do. Um, and it's kind of astonishing that I've lost so much weight while still eating a bagel every morning. Um, so yeah, this is this is like um, 
you know, I've been I've been losing weight to training wheels, and now I'm just getting healthy. Uh, for real, I'm, I'm going to be eating all these healthy foods, I'm going to be eating less bad food, and uh, you know, it's going to be crazy. And I'm, and I'm using oat milk creamer in my, in my coffee, it's, it's really good, I, I like oat milk, I'm an oat milk guy now. Um, coffee is super bad for you, don't drink coffee though. Alright, see you dude. Um, I'm sweating to death. Uh, yeah, goodbye. It's 84 degrees, I decided I had to record this video because later I won't be able to, and um, yeah, god, it's, it's just horrible. Frankly, I hate this heat. See ya, dude. Okay. I keep saying see ya, dude, and then I have one more thing. Um, this customer at work was wearing the Chuck Taylor Converse, but they were like the CX versions. Yeah, check this out. Bang! Check out how, how cool these look. You know, I was just watching a video on them the other day, and uh, for real, I just, like, maybe this is just me, but I think these just look so cool. Uh, and, you know, this is actually a little bit of an admission. I've actually never worn high top shoes before, like for real. Um, and it's weird. It makes me wonder, like, how do, you, how do you put your foot in there? How do you, do you like, 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 no idea. Um, but yeah, this, this customer at work was wearing these. And, uh, you know, I wish I could compliment people on their shoes. Uh, but uh, I, I think that's a little bit of a weird thing to do if you're just like, a, like if you're just at the register in like a fast food chain. <laughs> Um, but yeah, for real. I see a lot of people walk in with a lot of really cool shoes, and it's a shame, because it feels weird to compliment people on their shoes. Um, and another thing is, I guess that's just one of the benefits of living in, like, kind of a big city. Um, now, I, 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 of course, live, I, of course, live in, like, a suburb, like, a very, very, like, I live in a nice suburb, right? Um, but, you know, so when I say I'm, like, oh, I'm from Seattle, you know, that's, I am from Seattle, but I'm not, like, from Seattle, you know what I mean? And, uh, I think one of the cooler... Now, ignoring that, I think one of the cooler things about living in a city is that, um, I see lots of very cool things. I, I, I see shoes like this all the time, and you, and you wouldn't see shoes like this if you lived in, like, North Carolina, you know? And, uh, you know, I see, like, um, I see, like, all these Teslas, and, you know, say what you will about Tesla. I admit, they're bad cars. The quality control is horrible, uh, they stop in the middle of the road, um, their, their self-driving is is, you know, mid, but good compared to other <laughs> self-driving technologies. Um, but, you know, say what you will about them. They're bad. They're bad cars, but I like the cars. They're fun. They're fast. I like how they look. I think the, the idea of having a, a single point of interaction in the middle of the car is interesting. I like, I like Teslas, okay. And um, I get to see Teslas like every other day. No, not like every other day. I see like, like 20 Teslas every day, for real. My neighbor has a Tesla. It's crazy, um, you know. And I'm and I'm working and I'm looking out the window at work, and I I probably see, like I'd say there's at least like eight Teslas parked outside of my work every single day, you know, just like coming in and out, you know, just parking. And uh, it's kind of insane. Like it's it's crazy because, man, I don't know. I, I think the only time where you can experience something like this is if you were to live in like Norway or like San Francisco or something, some place that also has a lot of Teslas. But it's really cool here, um, except for like the extreme heat lately. Uh, I swear this, uh, you know, it's it's great here, except when it's silly hot. Um, so, yeah. Alright, see you, dude.